Hello, 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 and welcome back inside the Vintage Geeks toy room. Today, we are going to be talking about Starriors. Yes, Starriors, Waste Doors, Destructor. You get a free mini comic book. And this is, uh, this is some um, Sawtooth model buzzsaw. So his name isn't on the front, is it? Wind up motorized action, interchangeable parts, ages five and up by Tommy. Yeah, his name's not on the front of the packaging. That's funny. It is very, very difficult to find Starrior's packaging in mint condition. I have I have been searching and searching and searching, but I've got the three bad guys, and they're all about in this shape bent a little bit you know and whatnot but it's still really cool to have these in the packaging i just thought i'd go through it with you guys because i just happen to have this one open and in the packaging so we can take a look at it as if it were a modern figure and pretend we did an unboxing <laughs> interchangeable parts on off switch wind up Redesign your waist door, arms, legs, and heads detach. See comic book. See behind the comic book for three completely different looks. Starriors. Man is forced to abandon the surface of Earth. No. Robot guardians are created, the protectors, to make Earth habitable by future man. But then the destructors. They destroy invading... The destructors to destroy invading aliens. Oh, okay. So they, 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 the, the people make guardian guys, these like guardian robots, and they make the protectors to make Earth habitable by future man, and they make the destructors to destroy any invading aliens. Meanwhile, meanwhile, man awaits underground. So we're living underground. Everything works smoothly until the Destructors turn against man. Oh, the battle for Earth's control, the Waste Doors, special mission, and the fate of man's very existence are all featured in dazzling color inside the Marvel Thrill-packed mini-comic book included in the package of the Starriors. Not recommended for children under five because this toy contains small parts. Decals are consumer applied. Waste doors, the protectors. You got hot shot, duo laser action, which I really, really want hot shot. Crank, the speed drill, and cut up a chainsaw model. And then we have the destructors, sawtooth, the buzzsaw model, which we have here. It should still be a chainsaw model. I don't know why they had to change that. Gouge, a spiked ream model, which is similar to the drill. And Slaughter Steel Grave, which is a vibro chisel, who's similar to Hotshot. Tommy, 1984. And there's that barcode for those of you who want it. <laughs> This is cool. All right. Yeah. Neat. I'm, I wonder if I have that. Com I might have the comic. I've got a whole pile of these mini comics from various. It's number four. Let me see if I have a mini comic. I might have one. But first, be sure to check out the Peg Warmers live stream every Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern. I'm 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 always grabbing mini comics, and what I do is I just put them in a backer and board, and I flip them on both sides. So I've got the alien ones, bunch of Masters of the Universe, and see I put them on so one on each side, and then let's see, I've got a million He-Man. I've got to file all these. These are that's why they're out. I every time I see them, if they're cheap, I pick them up. 
So sometimes I've got duplicates and things too, but man tech. Yeah, here's to a Star Reelers number one. I've got two of them. Number two, number three, and there's number four. So let's look at, I guess we can look at number four because number four comes with the this guy. It's very similar to the He-Man comics you guys have seen, I'm sure. The trap. Look at this. There's a vulture one and a like a brontosaurus type one with wheelie things underneath. I got that little dude. The little dudes are the hardest to find and I've been slowly finding them over the time. Oh my gosh, look at that. The trap. No. How can the protectors fight on knowing they can be truly destroyed while we destructors can take new bodies via these transfer rings? <laughs> look at that. It's a transfer ring. I wonder if you've got those rings with any of the characters. So, and there's one of the little, there's a couple of the little guys. And this little zoomy dude. I don't have any little zoomy. I got these little ones, but not this zoomy dude guy. So look for some of those. The smaller ones are actually harder to find than the big ones. Look, they're having a campfire. Yeah. It's always important to have, you know, keep up morale with a nice campfire. Oh, look at that. There's the whole thing. Star yours, the protectors. Yeah, so think, I don't have think tank or motor mouth. I got the armored battle station. I just got that. And I have Tinker and Nipper. And then I have over here. Huh, I've got a black one. I've got a, an evil one of both of, of of this one. I don't think I have the evil one of that one, but I have the evil one of this one. But they don't show them on this. They show one called Cricket Dead Eye. So that comes with the Dead Eye. That's right. That that bird comes with him. Anti tank and backfire. Don't have those. Huh. Three bad guys. This dinosaur thing, dead eye. And a bird. And then you have that brontosaurus. Collect all your favorite Star Wars characters. Each Star Wars is exciting and action packed with wind up mechanisms, high speed action, and remote control action. Look for them in stores everywhere. Well, you can't look for them now. So do they fight over the battle station? I was wondering whose battle station it was. Because it definitely has the colors. When you look at the the characters inside and stuff. It has the colors of the good guy windows and things. But it looks bad guy when you look. I mean it's a giant snake. Maybe they fight over it. Maybe it's like whoever controls it. It's like Castle Grayskull. So yeah, look at that. How neat. Wow, this is a long comic. Oh yeah, he shot discs. The the T-Rex the thing shot discs out of his mouth. You can, you can find the T-Rex everywhere, but he's not... It's not like he... I don't think he's complete, like, all the time. I think he's missing everything. Oh, look how destroyed he is. Oh, gone. You failed. I should never have sent you on an important mission. Thank Deadeye that you still live and be gone from my sight. Wow, he is an evil one, isn't he? Oh. In the far flung future. Earth is devastated by deadly solar flares. Realizing his danger, man creates the Stariors, intelligent protector and destructor robots with brain centers molded in man's own image. He programs protectors to prepare Earth 
prepare the blighted earth for his return and the destructors to guard it from invasion by aliens and mutated monsters then man retreats beneath an armored battle station to pass the blistering epoch suspended in animation promising to someday return millennia past the starios develop their own civilization and much to their own programming is lost finally most remember man only as a legend but slaughter steel grave leader of the destructors knows that man exists and he enslaves the protectors, and certain that the re-emerged re -emerged man would threaten the very existence of the Stariors, he declares the desert surrounding the battle station a forbidden zone. Then the protector Hotshot finds an artifact that proves that man exists and sends him and a band of renegades on an impossible quest to find and awaken man. Wow. In the far-flung future. It was flung somewhere. <laughs> all right now let's take a look at was his name buzzsaw sawtooth he's a buzzsaw type sawtooth the buzzsaw type droid so these guys all have movable arms that can come off movable arms that can come off and um these pegs that are around you can put the you can put things wherever these pegs are. So, you know, they'll move. Then you can put them up here. And they'll be... Doo, 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 doo. So you could be like, oh, yeah. I'm going to get you, sucker. So you could do that. And then same with the legs. Like, the legs move. And they have bendable knees. Look at that. But they also have rollers. So you can roll them around. That's kind of neat. And you can put the legs up here so you could be like, oh my gosh, what are we doing? What are we doing? We're making some kind of abomination. No, we're making something neat and little and cool. So now he's like a little robot guy with these like arms on top. And he's like, oh yes, I am going to get you. You will not stop me. I have power supreme. So you can do like, yeah, you can do all kinds of weird things with these. So you could put the arms down here. Uh, maybe not at the... Looks like the body thing gets in the way, but you get the idea. You know, you can do all these weird stuff with them if you want to. But his main mode, you know, is humanoid-like with two arms in the normal spot and two legs in the normal spot. There are pegs all around also. And on top which can be used for, I can't believe I've got some. Yeah, you could use them for, there are all these equipment things that came out. Now this guy doesn't get any accessories when you buy him in the single packaging here. But if you buy like the battle station or some other guys, you will get some of these little weapons that attach to various areas and you can like put them on their head. Or you could like put them on the what was it on these on these feet here, do 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 do, and you could put them up on his arm because he's got a peg there for it, do 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 do. So he's got an extra weapon if you wanted, you know. So there's lots of different things that you can do, and you can put them back here for some reason. I don't know. Maybe there were jetpack ones. I don't know. But you have a lot of different options for building these characters up, which is why we really loved playing with them as kids, because you could just do all kinds of different things, you know? It was like, it was just so cool how you could just build them up and do all this extra stuff, you know? Because if you had a second guy, you could put two arms up there and have him with four arms, you know? You were like, oh my gosh. And the other thing is these little head modules all come off. And they can be put in other spots. I mean, I could put it up here if I wanted to and be like, oh, I'm like taller. You know, especially like if you got the arms up here and he wants to see better, you know, he could be like, oh, I can, you know, like how I had him before. So that's pretty cool. And these head modules have those little guys in them, the little silver guys. And uh, bad guys have these tinted windows, the yellow tinted windows. And the good guys is like a blue or clear and that's how I know that, like, the Starior's base is probably for the good guys. And then that can pop right back there. And then they all have this special feature in the middle, which you wind up with this. And, um, hold on. 
these wind up features are a little, there we go. So you get the idea, you know, these wind up features are, I think a little, yeah, there we go. Whoop, we gotta turn it off here. These wind up features are a little like old and, and hard to use, but you get the idea there. So that that can cut people down by, I have to wind it. Mine's like a little broken, so I have to wind it the opposite way. You would wind a uh, real one. You would wind it using this, but for some reason it just spins. So if I hold it and rotate this, I can wind up the mechanism. And then when you click the switch back here to on, this is off and then you switch it to on. So it saves the charge. So it's an ingenious thing because a lot of times when you did these wind up toys, you would let go and go ee immediately, but you could be like, I'm going to get you biker scout no don't get me yes i'm going to get you i don't want to be get and you can turn it on ha 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 chop 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 got you i got gotten no so he's dead he'll go over there as a dead guy so yep yeah pretty cool right let me see that again let's try that again Yeah, I have to wind, so I, again, you know, I have to wind it up weird because mine's a little bit not perfect. But I'm glad it still works. I can probably, I wonder if I can find a, a new rod to, because this is what it is. It just spins. And when you do this, it spins it. But it doesn't, the wind up part, I think, is not attached to this pin do you get what I'm saying? Because it clearly still works. I can wind it up the other way, but yeah. I can, pr I can probably fix that, but I just haven't tried. He's only got two little screws holding him together. He must be glued at one side, too. It wouldn't be just those two screws, would it? Anyways, that's Star Yours. Look at the detail on this guy's arm, his claw arm. He's got a blaster hand. So yeah. Really cool guys. I, I think these are a cool action figure line. I um, If you guys have never seen them before, I highly recommend checking these things out. I think they're pretty cool. I remember my brother and I having a couple different Star Wars characters. We didn't have the whole set, but we had a few of these guys, and I thought it was pretty cool. I think Mark had Hot Shot, if I remember right. Yeah, because I, I remember Hot Shot, I remember this drill guy, so he might have had him, I might have had him, and then I think we did have this purple guy, but that might, that could have been it, these three. I don't, I don't remember these in our hands, you know, but... Who knows, really? My brother will probably remember. Alright, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I think this is going to be it for the Star Wars. The start of the Star Wars. We'll have more down the road. I've got the base we can take a look at next. It's missing a part or two. But maybe someone out there can help me out with that. And then uh, I've got two more bad guys in the packaging. But I'll wait on showing those until I find loose versions so we can do another video like this and take a look at them as if it were a fake unboxing or something, you know? All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. And remember to watch the peg warmers later tonight live at 5. <laughs> 5 Eastern. All right, see you guys later. Bye-bye. I'm John. I'm out of here. Star Wars! Dun, dun.